In this video, we're going to talk about one very interesting topic. We'll try to explain in simple terms what are these NFTs that you keep hearing about. How do they work? Why are they so valuable? And what does that mean for us as architects? Let's find out. Before we do a deep dive into NFTs, let's first explain the technology behind it. I would assume that you have already heard about the terms like cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum and blockchain since these became quite mainstream over the last two years and more and more companies, huge investors and even world governments are investing a lot of money into this field. To put this simply, blockchain technology is a decentralized system or a network with thousands of computers which are distributed all over the globe and their purpose is to record information of transactions going through this network, approve the correct ones and block the incorrect ones. The biggest value of this system is that you cannot change, hack or cheat it because all the transactions are transparent and you can see the history of all of them that ever existed on the network. The beauty of this decentralized system is that you don't need the central bank as in our traditional financial system to transfer money. You can send $10 or $10 million to another address and the transaction will be done right away without the central bank taking the transaction fee. Now, keep in mind that there isn't just one single blockchain or a network. There are many of them and they all have their unique values and properties. Some are much faster and cheaper to use than the others, some are more or less secure, but the most beautiful idea here is that you can build real applications on these networks. For example, Facebook, YouTube, Google, all of these applications are centralized, which means that the company is deciding on what to do with this platform, its features and its users. On the blockchain, we have decentralized applications which live on the blockchain instead of the centralized server, and they are connected to it through a piece of code that is called a smart contract. Now, let's come back to the NFTs. How are they connected to this technology? Well, NFTs actually live on these blockchains as tokens. And just like we can confirm a single transaction to blockchain, we can also confirm some other properties like the ownership of a single token. NFT stands for non-fungible token, which means that it cannot be changed or modified and it is always unique. So think about it as an asset like a collectible card or a painting or a song. Whenever you buy an NFT, you're actually buying an ownership of that piece of data, no matter what it represents and what it does. And of course, you can later sell that ownership for profit or simply enjoy its benefits. But where does the value come from? Why would you even want to own an NFT? There are a couple of reasons. The most obvious one is that you just want to support a creator or an artist who published that NFT. You believe in the value of the creator's work and you're willing to pay for it. An example would be a collection of every day's the first 5,000 days, which is a collage of 5,000 images from a digital artist, Mike Winkleman, known as Beeple, which uh, work sold for an outstanding $69 million. Secondly, the value of an NFT can be expressed through its real-life use case or utility. For example, imagine that your favorite band publishes a collection of 500 unique NFTs and whoever owns a single NFT will be able to get the best concert seats, VIP access or access to a private party with band members. The value of that NFT can be determined by the fans and how much they are willing to pay for, for these NFTs. Let's go a step further. By holding these NFTs, you can also get recurring income from the revenue that your favorite band generates through their tour and concert tickets. The third reason why someone would value an NFT is because it represents being a part of an elite club or membership. For example, the cheapest NFT at the time of this recording uh, from one of the most famous NFT projects called Board API Club is 50 uh, Ethereum, which is around $225,000. And believe it or not, celebrities and famous people are buying these just to be a part of this movement and giving insane amount of money for it. If you ever played video games such as World of Warcraft, Need for Speed, GTA or Fortnite, I'm sure you know the importance of the upgrades, skins, heroes and new weapons which give you a big advantage over other players. All of these are centralized games. And now imagine these games being on the blockchain with the ability to earn money in the form of cryptocurrency which has real value, plus all of those upgrades are in fact NFTs. Believe it or not, this is happening as we speak. There are many play to earn games on the blockchain through the use of NFTs and we're still in the infancy of this technology. So now I'm sure you get an idea of why NFTs are so valuable. Okay, now let's see how this concept relates to architecture. You've probably heard that Facebook recently changed their brand name 
to Meta, which refers to Metaverse. This concept stands for this huge virtual world that you can access through a VR and AR technology, and you'll be able to interact with other users in real time. In short, this is going to be something like an enormous video game, which will look almost identical to our reality. Facebook's metaverse will of course be centralized, which means that Facebook will know everything about you, your data, your interactions, your digital assets, but Facebook is not the only one who is currently working on developing a metaverse. There are many other players and teams in this ecosystem which are currently building through decentralized metaverses on the blockchain and this is where the real fun is going to happen because you'll be able to enjoy all the benefits of decentralized financial system, protection of data and the ability to be a part of this new revolutionary technology. In this huge decentralized metaverse there is already a virtual land, a yacht or a building that you can own as an NFT and rent it to other users and then you just make a passive income from it just like in real life. Just last week we saw the biggest NFT land sale in one of those metaverse projects called Decentraland. This virtual land was sold for 2.5 million dollars and the graphics of this product are super ugly for my taste and this just tells us how early we are in this field. Imagine what would happen once we get a metaverse which has ultra realistic graphics and the ability to feel and touch virtual elements. As architects and designers, I think that we should start paying attention to this emerging tech and take part in it. This is where our creativity won't be limited by a construction budget. And imagine creating a 3D model of your dream house and then selling it as an NFT for half a million dollars. How would you feel? Well, that's exactly what happened earlier this year. Krista Kim, who is a digital artist, sold her Mars house as an NFT for this amount. Designers would be able to exhibit their work in virtual museums as NFTs and earn passive income from the dollar percentage of entry tickets to that museum. And architects, on the other hand, would be able to sell their virtual projects as NFTs, such as this museum, and also get a cut from those entry tickets. The landowner whose property the museum is located on will, of course, get paid as well from renting his property to the museum owner. There is another idea that is worth mentioning. What if we can bridge the real world with the digital ownership of real world assets? For example, let's say that an architect is hired by a developer to design a huge stadium for the city, but instead of charging directly for the project, the architect would actually get paid a certain percentage, one or two percent of every ticket that will be sold in the future for the events at that stadium. This would of course only work if all these tickets are sold as NFTs and all the, all the transactions will be recorded on the blockchain and the amount for the ticket sales will automatically go to the architect's wallet. This way, the architect's job and lifestyle would be much better and more sustainable. What do you think about this possibility? Do you think that architects and designers are finally going to be paid what they deserve in this creative industry? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon.